Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Textway with me, Jay. Today, I'm going to be looking at an application called AnyTrans. Now, what we're actually looking inside of this one is the iCloud feature, which is absolutely free, and it allows you to download or upload or even sync your photos and videos, among other things, between iCloud and your PC or Mac. Now, the application is free to download, and what we're looking at today is also free to use. One of the great things I've actually done for this video is I have actually reached out to the company that runs this software and they've actually provided me with two full license keys to give away. So watch to the end of the video and I'll explain how you can actually win those freebies. The link to download this will be in the video description below. But essentially when you're on the website all you want to do is hit free download. And then once it's downloaded install it onto your PC or Mac and then after that just open up the application. So once the application's opened, if you're opening this on Windows, it will actually just give you a notification about you haven't installed the Apple iDevice drivers on your PC. Now, you'll only need them if you're looking at transferring data via a cable to from your basically from your iPad or your iPhone onto the PC. Now, if you're using a Mac, you won't get this notification, but as I'm not actually even looking at that today, we can actually just go ahead and press no because we're just looking at the iCloud features today. And it is literally as simple as over towards the top left, you'll see a cloud, and it is literally iCloud content. You want to click on that and basically sign in with your Apple ID. Now, once you are logged in, you'll get the choice of import, export, syncing, or just viewing the iCloud drive. Or you can use the right-hand side menu to actually change the view. And from here, I think this view is actually probably easier because, for example, I know that I just want to download photos. So all you need to do to actually download the photos is obviously hit photos. And then once it loads up, you have the same choices that I did for tips in my original video, which I'll just link in the top right here for you guys if you haven't seen that before. Now these tips are outdated on iCloud.com, but in this software they exist. And those tips are basically holding control on the keyboard and left clicking on individual photos that you may wish to download if you don't want to download everything. If you do want to download everything, you can hit Control and A on the keyboard, or this will be Command and A on a, on a Mac, and then that will select everything. Or alternatively, what you can do is you can do the Shift Click trick, by basically holding Shift and then just left clicking on the first image, and then just left clicking on the last image, and then that will select everything in the album. But the best thing that I've actually found about this software is you don't need to worry about these kind of tips and tricks because in the top right you can actually change the view and then you'll get this kind of list view but the brilliant thing about it is you can either just individually click or at the very top of it you can actually select all and then all you need to do to actually download it is literally hit the download button and it will start downloading to your default download directory now if you're not sure where that is you can actually hit the cogwheel over here which is the settings icon and down here you've got the export path so that's basically where my photos are going to be downloaded into a photo that will be dated any trans export and then it will obviously have the date there now you can change that simply by hitting select and choosing another location on your mac or pc and you can also set the backup path and you can also go as far as if you're actually going to start using this as like an ios content kind of thing you can actually choose how you export the actual, say, your Safari history, for example. I've set it here to be .html rather than .csv. And you can do that for almost everything. Once you've done your changes, hit save, and then you're ready to download your photos. And then it is literally just as simple as hitting download, and it'll start transferring the photos for you straight away. So after the files have actually finished transferring onto your PC or Mac, you can then hit view files. It will automatically load the folder, which has the actual date. It's in reverse. So if you go backwards, you've got the 20th of the 3rd, 2017. And obviously it's named any trans export. We've got the photos album and the photos folder. And there's everything from iCloud come down. Now, once you're done, you can actually just close that. If you've got more photos to transfer, then hit more. And then you can select more to come down. Or alternatively, you can also use this to upload as well. So if you wanted to upload stuff, then all you need to actually do is come up to here and hit the plus sign inside the cloud. And then you get the little pop up and then just go into the folder you want to upload stuff. Select the photos. So let's say I want to upload these two. Hit open and straight away it will start transferring the photos up to iCloud. 
Now, once the process is finished, that's it guys, that is all there is to the software in terms of downloading and uploading photos to iCloud. And as I said, if I actually go back to their website and scroll down to here, you can see it's a new feature of basically using iCloud to MyCloud, as in your PC. And you can actually do this using multiple iCloud accounts, and it's absolutely free to get full control over your iCloud content. So as I said, there is a competition actually a part of this video, and it is for two license keys to give away for two of my subscribers so you can have a full license key for any trans which will allow you to basically use the full features of it. To enter it there is a link in the description below and I'll also put a comment on the actual uh, and actually pin a comment I should say in the comment section with a gleam.io link because this is basically only for subscribers of the channel. Now if you haven't already subscribed, then obviously you can do that as part of the Gleam competition. And the competition will end on the 14th of April at midnight. So guys, don't miss out on this. This is a great opportunity. I hope you enjoyed this tip. Let me know what you think of the application once you've downloaded it and given it a try. Drop a comment below. Did you like it? Did you not? I want to know you guys' thoughts. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.